हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर जहांगीर अली कंसल्टेंट जनरल सर्जन एंड पार्ट ऑफ एस इन सर्जरी ऑल ऑफ यू हु हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब एस इन सर्जरी येट प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब इट टू गेट मोर एंड मोर वीडियोज टूडे वी विल डिस्कस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज एबडोमिनल एक्सरे इट इज मच नीडेड टॉपिक फॉर एवरी फाइनल ईयर स्टूडेंट हाउस ऑफिसर पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट एंड इवन द जनरल सर्जन so we will discuss briefly the x-ray abdomen we will discuss on the erect and supine x-rays so friends this is the abdominal x-ray proper abdominal x-ray before going to see any abdominal x-ray it is mandatory to see whether that x-ray is proper or not so a proper abdominal x-ray should include both dome of diaphragm and pelvis this is a left dome of diaphragm this is right dome of diaphragm and this is pelvis this is the proper exposure of whole abdominal x ray so whenever you will see the abdominal x ray you have to take care of these things both dome of diaphragm and pelvis so this is a abdomen x ray which we can call is ap view anterior posterior view because in abdominal x ray we go for the ap view anterior posterior view and in chest x ray we usually go for the pa view posterior anterior view so this is the ap view of abdominal x ray showing both dome of diaphragm and pelvis here this is the x ray abdomen erect how we call it abdominal x ray because this x ray is showing multiple air fluid levels in this x ray so whenever you see the multiple air fluid levels in the x ray it means that is an erect abdominal x ray normally we can see three air fluid level in every x ray which can be taken as a normal because usually there are three points in the abdominal x ray where you can find the normal air fluid levels that is stomach you can see here the normal air fluid level secondly the duodenal cap you can also see the air fluid level here and third is the cecum you can also see here a uh, air fluid level so these three air fluid levels are normal in every abdominal x ray you cannot say this is a case of obstruction these can be in every x ray normally present theek hai but if the number of air fluid levels are increased like in this x ray there are multiple air fluid level 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so these multiple air fluid levels are very significant these are showing that this patient is a case of obstruction so abdominal abdominal x ray will that is erect will only let you know about whether there is obstruction or not but a uh, good x ray must show both dome of diaphragm and pelvis now after knowing the obstruction it is much needed that we should know what is the level of obstruction so for the level of obstruction we should go for the x ray abdomen supine so you can look at here this is the abdominal x ray supine here you will not see any air fluid level but only the loops of gut are visible here but now it's we we have to decide whether these x ray loops are whether this is ileum jejunum colon or stomach it can be anything so for that you have to see some features if it is stomach you will only see the dilated portion here but here there are multiple loops of the gut so it means this is not a stomach in the jejunum you will find valvuli conivents what is valvuli conivents these are the cuts in the jejunum you can see here multiple cuttings you can also call it steak of coins like you can see here this is a steak of coin one coin above that other coin so these stave calf coin appearance you will also see in the x ray so this x ray is showing the uh, appearance of steak calf coin this is called valvuli conivents this is a feature of jejunum so here you can see this is jejunum what it is jejunum but if the same uh, gut is present and there's no features like this smooth gut like you can see here this is smooth gut no any cuttings here so this is ileum 
so this portion of x-ray is containing ileum as well as jejunum before going to see this whenever you see the abdominal x-ray you have first where you have to look first that is this area right iliac fossa here you have to see if the gas is present here it means obstruction is distal to it if gas is not present here it means obstruction is proximal to it so you can see here it is empty it means obstruction is proximal to the cecum and if there is obstruction to the proximal to the cecum either it can be ileal or it can be jejunal or it can be both so here you can see both are uh, uh, visible this is ileum this is jejunum so most probably obstruction is in the ileum but only single jejunum is present if so you can say that the obstruction of jejunum but if both are visible jejunum and ileum so you will say the obstruction is in the ileum for suppose gas is present here in the cecum and multiple incomplete hostations are present in the gut like i can show you another x-ray so are you clear this is a jejunum showing the valvular equinements this is fight featureless ileum now i will show you in another x-ray that will show the uh, hostations so coming to this x-ray this is again the x-ray of abdomen showing the cecum in the air you can uh, clearly see this air in the cecum it means obstruction is distal to this cecum and these are incomplete cuttings you can see here incomplete cuttings these incomplete cuttings in the gut are called it these incomplete cuts are called as hostrations so if these hostrations are present it means it is a large bowel if these are if these complete constrictions are present it is a small bowel if incomplete intersections are present it is a large bowel so it is you who have to decide on the basis of features whether this is a large bowel or small bowel so in the end i must say that whenever you will see the x-ray supine it will show whether the level of obstruction is in the jejunum ileum or in the large bowel here large bowel obstruction is there here you can see this is a small bowel obstruction that is showing the ileum and jejunum so friends any question you want to ask you can comment below it was a brief introduction about abdominal x-ray showing erect and supine views so in the end i must say erect is for only the obstruction and supine is for the level of obstruction and multiple features i told you while will you conivance featureless ileum and hostations in the large bowel so i think you must have understood all the things that i have cleared uh, if you have any question you can comment below or for further adding on your knowledge you have to subscribe uh, asing surgery channel will be thankful to you for this